This sensory bedroom to a mattress got soiled. Waterproof fitted sheet of a haven for him to come into. He really does calm down. The best thing we could have ever done for Jacob's room. Welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, we're going to be doing an updated sensory bedroom tour for Jacob. I know it says jazz on here, but we still haven't changed that over yet for like two years. Before we go in, I wanted to just say that this is not what Jacob's bedroom usually looks like. I have done a deep clean of his room, which I do like twice a week where I take everything out of his room and clean it out because he is very messy. So let's go in. As you come in the room, Jacob has his therapy suitcase. This is a suitcase that his therapist provided. It's got his folder and it's got his, just all the things that he needs in his therapy. Jacob does have therapy in this room, so we do use it as sort of a therapy room as well. Over here we have Jacob's dresser, which Jordan found on the side of the road. <laughs> and he restored it. He sanded it back and painted it the green color that we have for the stairs. Um, I think it looks really good. It has got a few chips in it, so it probably needs another coat, but that's just to be expected in Jacob's room because a lot of damage gets done, as you, as you will see around the room. Up here you'll see a little sculpture Jacob made at preschool. I was so, so proud of him when he made that. Um, that's his TV remote. And over here is his little box. We don't know what to, call, what to call this. This is Jacob's collection of things. It's got his birds, it's got beads, it's got everything in it. He often puts food in there, so we often have to clean it out. He's at school at the moment, so he has to leave this behind, but usually it's on him all day long. Over here, we move on to the bed. Jacob's bed we got off the marketplace. Over here, you'll see that the, the stairs are green. Uh, this is because there was a bit of a sensory disaster with hair dye. Jacob got hair dye all over the stairs. I'll link the video up here if you want to see that video. Um, but we had to paint over it because of that. And this is his bed. We actually recently bought him a new mattress. The reason for this is because Jacob's old mattress got soiled. It got... The stains were like continuous and we couldn't keep up with them. And he ended up getting a lot of stains down the side of the bed as well as on top of the bed. We didn't have it properly protected. We had a mattress protector, but it wasn't very good. So that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Broly Sheets. Thank you so much for partnering with us for today's video. We sell a mattress protector as well as protective sheets. So I'm going to show you Jacob's bed. So this is Jacob's new mattress. And we got the Broly Sheets Quilted Mattress Protector, which is this one here. So the Quilted Mattress Protector extends the life of the mattress. It has a waterproof backing and it protects against stains and dampness. And it's soft and comfortable. The next layer of Jacob's bed sheets is a fitted sheet. And this is actually a waterproof fitted sheet. It's actually like so exciting to me to have this because it provides protection for the top of the mattress as well as the sides of the mattress. It has a waterproof backing but the top of the sheets are cotton, a very soft cotton, so it feels just like a regular fitted sheet. The outer is a soft cotton so you can sleep on it as a sheet or you could use it as a mattress protector and put your sheet on top. It has waterproof sides, ideal for those whose accidents may spill to the sides of the mattress. So for Jacob, we don't put an, an extra sheet on top of him. He doesn't really like too many sheets and he's only recently been loving this waffle quilt. So when he goes to sleep, he puts the doona on. Once he's fully asleep, then I will put his weighted blanket on top of him. Weighted blanket we got from Calming Blankets. Jacob spends a lot of time just chilling in his bed during the day. A long time ago, Jacob never used to go into his room, but now that we've made it more suited to his needs and his wants, um, he spends a lot of time in his room. We have, over here we have his honey bears, his treasured honey bears. Um, we have five of them and he sleeps with them at night. Under Jacob's bed, we put another mattress. This is the mattress that I pull out and use every night when I come in here and stay with him when he wakes up in the nighttime. 
um, but we also do have a Broly fitted sheet. So it does come in the white and in the navy. Um, this space under here, I wanted to create a little bit of a haven for him to come into if he's becoming a bit overwhelmed. There's too much visual stimulation, so he can come in here and it's sort of dark and calm and he can just calm down in there. So, yeah, that's his little area in there. So over here we have Jacob's sensory pea pod and this has been a game changer for Jacob. Just in regards to regulating himself when he is really dysregulated and seeking some deep pressure and compression, he comes and lies in between here and he really does calm down. And it's been a fantastic tool to add to his bedroom to make him feel safe and him feel secure. There's often times during the day that he'll run in here and he's dysregulated and he'll come in here, lying here. He does like to rock in it as well and we do help him with that. Um, it's really durable as well and very good quality. But yeah, that's what we have over here. Back here we have Jacob's sensory box. There's been various ways that we've put Jacob's sensory toys on shelves and things and they just get knocked out. So we just got a black tub and filled it up with all of his favorite toys. So some of his favorite toys are the colored materials here. He loves this. He likes the pop tube. I'm sure a lot of you guys have these. And this is probably Jacob's favorite sensory toy at the moment is this little ball here with little balls inside of it. And it has ribbons and he loves to shake them. Over here we do have a bean bag for Jacob. He doesn't tend to use it very much. So um, we just put it in the corner over there. If he wants to bring it out, he can. If you look, you guys are sitting on Jacob's bed and that is his view. It's pretty foggy. I'll try and get some better footage of it, but look at that beautiful view. It's got the trees, the trampoline, the palm trees. Now, if we go back up this room, you'll see that there's a shelf up above Jacob's window. The reason for this is putting things up there that he shouldn't be touching. We put this shelf up originally to put the TV up there. The TV Jacob uses frequently. He watches only two movies, his two favorite movies, and he doesn't really watch anything else, but he does use it to go to sleep in the nighttime. Um, so we put his TV up there. He's got his Glow Dreaming Sleep Aid. This has been great. It just portrays a green light. Um, it has a red light function as well, but I've heard that the green light is better than the red for autistic children. Up there we have a painting that Jacob's auntie did for him. It's beautiful. It's like a rainbow and it's got a pot of money at the end of the rainbow because Jacob used to be really obsessed with money. <laughs> He's just got a few like money box things up there. And of course we have a monitor in here just to see what he's up to in the night time. So hanging up here we have the sensory sheet. So this one is a sensory tunnel and this one over here is a sensory sack and this is a sensory sheet. He loves these materials when we bring them out to play. He doesn't necessarily like them being on his bed. So we keep them here for him to bring down and play when he wants to. So if you pan this way, he's got his favorite little toy there. We have this little black mat here. Eventually I'd like to put the black mat up on the wall and something along this wall because we installed a sensory swing in Jacob's room and it's literally been the best thing we could have ever done for Jacob's room. He gets a lot of regulation from this sensory swing as well. Jacob is a very big swing fan. We have a swing outside, but I thought this would be a great idea. And it's like a lycra material and he just loves it. He especially loves to bounce up and down in it. Um, as well as swing back and forth. This is why we have a pillow over there. This is a temporary solution. <laughs> we just found Jacob was bouncing off the wall there and kicking the wall and it was gonna damage the wall. Eventually I'd like to get something like that and put it up against the wall just to protect the walls there and there. So obviously we're not finished with Jacob's room. Um, there's so many other things that I'd want to do with his room, especially just regarding his sensory needs. I'd love for you guys to comment down below what you guys have as a part of your children's sensory room 
or their bedroom. I know a lot of people have sensory rooms separate to bedrooms, but we thought of just having a few calming, regulating sensory toys in his room so that he can calm down and go to sleep. Now you also notice that there's nothing on the walls. There's nothing on this wall, there's nothing on this wall, and there's nothing on this wall. There used to be many things on his wall. And on this wall there used to be a sticker, like a world map sticker thing, and obviously as you can see he has ripped the stickers off and damage the paint on the wall. There's a lot of that around our walls. We found that when we took the things off his walls, he was a lot calmer. So he had less stuff intruding on his visual sort of stimulation. The bed that we got Jacob has been the best thing ever because he's high up and he can sit up on top of the bed and not see everything that's on the floor, not see everything that is going on. There's not too much visual stimulus. And I think that is why he loves to sit up there and calm down as it's just like a blank slate. Eventually we'd like to patch up those holes and things like that, but that's for a project for a later date. And I just saw that we forgot to talk about the mirror. This I only put up one week ago. Um, it's a very dodgy, broken almost like kids mirror it's very safe i've tried to clean it but it's very foggy and i've only just taped it to the wall just to see how it goes so recently jacob has been loving mirrors and like reflections especially like the tv he looks in in the mirrors and he'll like open his mouth and make sounds and um, I thought of an idea of putting like a mirror in his room. We had this one already, so I thought I would try this and if it works out and he likes it, then we'll get like a, a new mirror that's kind of doesn't look like this. <laughs> Turns out it's been such a successful thing, especially in his therapy sessions. They have been using that to get him to make sounds and look at himself and look at his mouth and make sounds. So I think it's gonna be a really positive addition to his room, um, especially in his de speech development and learning in therapy. He also said, just thinks it's super cool to look at himself in the mirror and it's just really cute to see. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was the main mat that we have in Jacob's room. This is a micro mat. We got this a while ago, I think years ago actually. Originally we had this side which was just like a grey mat and Jacob actually managed to rip it. Luckily it is a reversible one however I do not recommend if you have a sensory seeker to get one of these mats because it's very easy for them to rip a hole and then eventually wreck the whole thing. So for now Jacob has flowers in his room which is A-OK. -okay. Eventually we'd like to get a new one but for now this is fully functional and I don't see a need to replace it just yet. Um, obviously I'd like the colors to go with his room but it's a good mat to use for his therapy sessions. They sit on here and play all the games and do all of his activities so that they're not sitting on the hard floor. Thank you guys for watching today's video of Jacob's sensory bedroom tour. Be sure to check out Broly Sheets. I'll leave a link down in the description for you to check out their products. Be sure to click here for another video you might enjoy and here for our most recent upload. And click here to subscribe to our channel to join our journey.